Hello friends, I'm Melanie from MelanieCooks.com and today I'll be cooking pork chops on a frying pan. For this easy recipe, uh, we just need pork chops. I'm using the boneless pork chops. And we need oil for pan frying. I'll use olive oil. You can use any kind of vegetable oil or if you'd like, you can use coconut oil or butter. And for the seasonings, I'm going to use salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. And you can use any seasonings you like. This is a very simple recipe. First, I'm going to season the pork on both sides. So I'll just sprinkle it the seasonings. Salt, black pepper, garlic powder. And I'm going to rub the seasonings into the pork. And now flip it over and season the other side. And staying here to just rub. So now pork chops are evenly seasoned, and I'm going to add um, oil to the pan. So just use uh, a little bit of oil as a nonstick pan, so you really don't need much. And add the pork chops. And now I'm going to turn the heat on high. And now um, when the pan is heated and the oil is sizzling, then we'll reduce the heat to medium high. So now the pan is heated through and the oil is sizzling. So I'm going to reduce the heat to medium high, and now let's cook it on this side undisturbed for five minutes. But some, if after a few minutes, just check to make sure if you see that it's you know too brown and burning on the bottom, you can always reduce the heat, or you can always flip them earlier. But as long as they're not burning, you can just leave them like this for five minutes. So it's been five minutes, and at one point, I actually did reduce the heat to medium because it started browning too quickly. But so now they're ready to be flipped. So let's flip them. Look at this crust. It looks so good. And now let's cook on this side. So also approximately five minutes, but it really depends on the thickness of the pork chop. So I have a uh, meat thermometer. I'm going to cook them until um, the internal temperature is 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So just keep a close eye on them. If they're brown too quickly, then just reduce heat to medium. You can also flip them a few extra times. But basically they're putting them on a frying pan until inside they're 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the pork chops are ready. Look how good they look. So it was about uh, five minutes on each side and um, please check the internal temperature so it should be at least 160 Fahrenheit yep that's over 160 so it's ready and now let's uh, turn the heat off and I'm going to remove it from the frying pan And whatever cooking liquid, you can pour it over the pork chops. So good.
And now it's recommended to wait for three minutes before slicing the pork and then uh, wait three minutes and I'll try it. So now after three minutes, let's try it. So let me just cut it so you can see the inside. So it cuts so easily, the meat is so tender and it's fully cooked inside. So I'm just going to cut a small piece for me to try. Mmm. So delicious, so tender, juicy and flavorful. And it was so easy to make on a frying pan. You will love this easy recipe. For a free printable recipe and other easy recipes, please visit my website, melaniecooks.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Melanie Cooks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy!